Hi, Kristen here from Whiskey Tango Farms. Today we are putting up our greenhouse. Um, we decided to get one on Amazon because I started so many plants and we have nowhere to put them all. Uh, so we are getting this greenhouse so we can move some of the larger seedlings, I guess you could call them, or like plant starts out in the grow tent so that we have a little bit more room in the house for the more petite plant start. So we kind of wanted to bring you along for the journey and show you how this is going to go. I believe it's how big, dear? 15 by 6. 15 by 6, 6 and a half. Um, so we're actually going to put it on the corner of our deck right here. So um, that way it should get, at least on the one half of it, it'll get uh, sunlight all day. Um, and then the like other half this way will get sunlight most of the day but Brandon picked it out I've been kind of pestering him and badgering him to get a greenhouse he's like we don't need a greenhouse but oh. and typically you know we're putting on the deck and typically you put it on the ground to um, you know grow in the ground with the greenhouse and everything but we're planning on using this just to kind of like start plants and maybe possibly have some stuff in there that are you know, to extend the season on in containers. So that's why we're putting on the deck. Yeah. So, all right, well, here we go. It's a big tent and there's just the two of us. So we might. I think we'll be all right. We got it. We'll be good. All right, stay tuned. Those are some nice gloves you got yeah, there. Got little gloves. They're really short gloves because my fingers really actually, because they look like they're really short fingers. And my fingers actually go like down to here. Yeah, they're definitely like a size they're small for, or medium. They're, they're for little people. You look like Mickey Mouse. But my hands are cold. It's cold out. It's only like 36 and today. These are, and these, these are, are ice cold because they were sitting in the garage. Yeah. So. But yeah, it's kind of cool. It actually came with two pairs of gloves. So I got a pair too, but I'm just going to use my existing real ones because I think they're going to provide me. I don't know where my real gloves are. But, all right. right. I, I appreciated the gloves. Just, Thank we're you. We're just putting the hoops together. That's Thank you, the first King step. Bird. It's just putting these hoops together and putting some screws in there loosely. Yeah. So, so supposedly that's what it's going to look like. Hopefully, it's a little more green though than that. It looks kind of brown to me. <laughs> but yeah. It's made by King Bird. We got it on Amazon. So, yeah. Link will be in the description. Yeah. These directions aren't much for directions. So you can see, and you just you can kind of go by the pictures and read some of this, but then the frame says put two floor supports short and two horizontal bar supports long together. So that's the frame that's the bottom. Well it says that these are twos and threes, so you, you'll only have four twos, it looks like. Five seven. So that's why I'm confused. You, we gotta do this part first. This is up here. This is like halfway up. I know. Halfway that's up. the top part. You wanna grab a nut and a bolt. Long or short? Long. All right, so it's finally a somewhat warm enough day and not snowing or raining. I'm gonna try to finish this in a couple days, I believe since we put the hoop together for the greenhouse, get everything up and going. You can see all the lines are here, or poles and everything are on. So I bought some metal strapping. We're going to use metal strapping and some leg screws to tie this down to the deck since we're just going to put it on the deck here um, for now. All right, as you can see here, I got the straps done um, on all four corners just like that. It's not going anywhere. Is that easier? Yeah. Yeah. 
so you technically don't need that but you definitely recommend it yep and you're using a 10 millimeter yep better be careful for our legs those are the ones that always run away i don't know why that is can't ever find them yeah so anyways you know what we should do invent just like a big old pack of just 10 millimeters they have them oh so now we'll put the green part on the greenhouse yep okay So as you can see, we got the tent, like the greenhouse part on. I feel like if we add bricks down here to kind of hold this down, I think it'll be better. Also, we were discussing the floor because we put this on our deck um, and obviously there's airflow so the air can come up underneath. So we'll see how it goes. We'll try it out. I may end up getting one of those like patio rugs or like outdoor like camping rugs to kind of help prevent that. I'm gonna go grab some bricks and help Brandon here. Down here we added bricks all the way around. They were just actually they were just actually extra bricks that were here when we bought the house. Oh my! Ooh! Ooh! I, it's nice in here. I said it's a significant difference. I don't know what the temperature difference I definitely is right feel now. like the zippers are. We need to be gentle with them. Yeah, there's these like little flappy flaps that I can use to adjust the temperature. Yeah, and they all open from the outside. See? How come this has two flaps? Well, you can just open just this square to let some of the um, higher up temperature, you know, if you don't want it to change the temperature too much in here. Just kind of airflow get some airflow and you know lower the temperature just a little bit but then you have the big door big screen door you can open to let a lot of airflow through it's on both ends yeah you have a lot of control honestly yeah. but yeah we'll put the light up i might just order another one for the other end since this is a little longer than i was gonna get you know this remote has on and off and you can adjust the um, brightness but it also has a timer so you can whenever time you turn it on you can set four hours so it'll only turn on for four hours at the same time each day or 12 or 8. All the wires and everything in this where you plug in you can daisy chain I think they have to set up to six of these together so it's on you can't really tell because we're outside but well, like you said it's not really for right now well it's that and right now because we don't have a heater um this is gonna help um heat it up in here a little bit because so this does get warm this the unit so not the necessarily whole, the light the whole thing gets oh it is a little toasty it gets pretty warm but you can tell i mean if you look here with it off like even at the ground like you can tell there's a little more light So as you can see, we got the uh, canopy part on the greenhouse, the actual green part. Um, and we have our grow light here going and I have just a plant stand. Um, it is really bright in here. It's actually pretty warm. Um, we set up a couple of govies to check the temperature difference. Right now it's only a few degrees difference. Um, and I think that's because the wind is coming up under the deck a little bit. I'm actually going to take our straw bales that were around the bottom of our quail barn to kind of help insulate that during the winter. And I'm going to put that around the bottom of the deck where the greenhouse is. I'm hoping that'll kind of help stop that wind from coming in, but we'll see. Um, moved all my plants out here so you can see these ones here. The wind, when it blows, the, the tent seems pretty sturdy, but I am a little worried when the storms come rolling in. This kit did come with some strings to like go over the top. So 
at first we're like oh we probably don't even need to install those the bricks should be enough but we're definitely going to install those we were in here and a pretty pretty big gust of wind came through and the whole thing kind of shook and i looked at brandon and i'm like if this falls on all my plants i'm going to be heartbroken so we definitely need to figure this out because um, if this comes down and breaks and kills my plants i don't know what i would do um, I definitely need to get some tables or something in here right now. All the plants apart from the ones on this little stand here, they're all just sitting on the ground. So it's not ideal for watering and such. So that'll be a project for another day. Um, but overall, I'm really excited. I'm really happy. Um, I can't believe I have a greenhouse. I mean, last year I went from being somewhat interested in gardening and stuff to this year, like going hardcore. Like I really want to, um, grow a lot of our food this year so I really am excited for this journey and I'm excited to bring you guys along with us. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of trials but hopefully lots of tribulations as well um, but please make sure that you hit like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell um, to see all of our future updates. Hopefully sometime soon we'll get some tables built or something, um, stands to put these on um, but Overall, I'm really happy and really excited, and I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. God bless.